Well, hello, friends and well-wishers. Mobile Gamers Unite here. And I have to call it. This is the very end of Soccer Wars. Okay. So I'm putting this out there just to remind a few people. A lot of people forget. They get confused because you get in here and, you know, when you're grinding things out, the exchange shop will say that this is going to be up for another week. It is not. Soccer Wars is over tomorrow, I believe. Um, hopefully not tonight because I still have plenty to grind out. This is my alt account, by the way. Um, wait, no, this is my main account. Sorry, I'm still grinding out a lot of things on my alt um, I think if I just play for a few hours and put my nose to the grindstone, I should be able to get just about everything. But I just wanted to remind everybody so that nobody, uh, you know, gets gypped on this because there is a lot of good stuff here. I mean, all of this stuff is worth it, especially to a newer account. You're going to use all this stuff, but the only things that I haven't picked up um, I guess I might as well at least grab a few of these hammers with whatever resources I have left. Yeah, don't waste the resources, guys. If you got them, just get whatever. And these hammers are actually, they're pretty useful when you start um, trying to level items up from like level 40 to 50. You're going to want these. So everything here can be used. Some stuff can be used more than other stuff. But, you know, it's the end of a collab, so I had to make one of these to let everybody know that this is it. Um, get the last year comeuppance. And we have, we have an, um, a banner right around the corner that I'm sure a lot of people are excited about because it is Clarette. She's a PvP beast if you build her right. I mean, she does take the right gear and everything because, I mean, she's kind of like a marine. She's the first one in there. And if you're going to have her initiating your your attack, you need to make sure that she's built right so she can survive. Because you could end the whole fight right there if Clarette gets wiped. But we'll talk more about her when she actually drops and we can really look at her. We do have a pretty good idea of what kind of character she is. Uh, if you're wondering, um, Nitro did a few videos on her. I think there's two of them. So go ahead and go check that out. All right, other than that, it's been a pretty awesome day. Actually, you know what? You, you guys want to know what's funny? I'm always talking about how I can never get an effing Zarita. Land Grissy just does not want me to have Zarita. I don't know if they're just scared of what I'm going to do with her. But truth be told, I only want Zarita so I can power up Farik because I really like how Farik plays and I like how she steals buffs, okay? So I did pull on the banner, on Zarita's banner, and you guys want to know what I got? An SSR, and guess what? It wasn't effing Zarita. It was effing Basel. Tell me that's not ridiculous. Tell me that's not effing ridiculous. This is the, the third banner, the third banner that she's been on that I've pulled for her and pulled an SSR and got an off banner. I couldn't even get her on the focus banner. On her focus banner, I pulled no SSRs. So Zarita is just, um, she's my unobtainium. I, I just, I cannot get her to save my life. It's a good thing my life does not depend on it. Because, well, your boy would be dead. There's no way I'm getting a Zarita. We'll try our luck right here. Just because you guys sat through a video of mine, I'll be happy even if it's gold. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Uh, if we hit a gold, we have to try a second one. That's just the way I roll. Sometimes these golds drop in pockets. Sometimes there's an SSR in there. But probably not, because this is Zarita's banner we're talking about here. Even if I did pull an SSR right now, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be Zarita. But come on, can we get another one? Can we get another one in there? Is this the end of the gold pocket? Oh, come on. I do notice that a lot of times my golds are back to back when I'm doing um, single pulls. And then they'll stop. And that's all she wrote. That was my chance. So, uh, whoever's watching this, 
you guys just weren't good luck enough. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thanks for sitting through my vid, my little PSA. I got some more content coming for you, and we will be covering Claret and this new banner that's coming out. But I just really wanted to put the word out because I don't want anybody to miss out on all these goodies. So, um, yeah, we got three days left on this. Okay. And I wanted to kind of make a side note. Sakura's sword here, the ghost blade, it's really good for PvP. But what I've really noticed is if you're not really going to use her in PvP, you don't really need to worry about this sword because honestly, um, the blood sword, I would, I would honestly say for PvE, equip the blood sword because the blood sword does so much more fixed damage when Sakura gets her stacks up. Maybe it's just me. I do have an amazing role on my blood sword, um, on my glow, my ghost blade, I got 15% attack and like 5% hit points. And that's still not as good as my blood sword because I think on my blood sword, I got 13% attack and then I got an extra like 12 or 15 attack to go with it. But, um, Sakura definitely deals a ton with the blood sword. So you don't really need the ghost blade unless you plan on taking her into PVP because if your Sakura meets another Sakura, well, their crit, their skill is going to be the deciding factor in that battle. And obviously the Sakura that's armed with the Ghost Blade is going to have a higher crit than the other one. Chances are, and she will be the victor. Okay, so Mobile Gamers Unite, you guys have an awesome day. Um, an awesome night, I guess. So... Yeah, I'm going to finish grinding out my alt, and then uh, I think I'm going to hop on Last Claudia. And I got some content coming for you guys for that. I'll be honest with you, I haven't been able to put that game down. So it's kind of cool that we get a banner right now that's kind of optional for me. I still don't know what I want to do about Claret. She's not necessary for me. I would rather have her on my alt account because it's a Yales account, and she is Yales. But... I got more than enough characters right now. If I manage to pull a Claret out of my ass, that'd be great. If not, you know, she'll be back around in December, I think, on a focus banner. So we'll have to see how that goes. But your boy's really not stressing it. So everybody have a good night. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you're pulling for Claret uh, and what you're going to use her for. I have a feeling that a lot of people that are pulling for her are going to do it for PvP. So Mobile Gamers Unite. Have an awesome night. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.